You're watching Money in Tech. I'm Perry M. Boring at Inside Bitcoins NYC, and I am joined now with Nick Carey, the CEO of Blockchain. Thanks for joining us. You gave a talk today about kind of the overview of blockchain and Bitcoin. What do you say to anybody that calls Bitcoin a bubble? Well, they're definitely wrong, and the experts have shown that, and also the history of Bitcoin so far. Um, right now, we're still early on. I tell people this a lot, though. If the entire history of Bitcoin was a clock, we're probably in the third or fourth second, so there's a lot of runway left out in front of us. But what we're witnessing with blockchain, and especially with the travels that the team has had, is all over the world, there are teams and people building beautiful software for new local solutions that will continue. So everywhere from Buenos Aires to Santiago to Berlin to Morocco to Japan to China, um, it's growing very, very fast. This is not a U.S. phenomenon at all. Can you tell us what the growth of blockchain has looked like in the past year? Uh, kind of like a hockey puck curve. Um, it's been really, really fast for us, and uh, that's exciting to see so much trust in our services. Um, we're also doing as much as we can to invest more in the future infrastructure to continue to support that growth. So we went from having 100,000 users to 1.5 million basically in 13 months. That's a big growth. And uh, last year you also did your first uh, acquisition of Zero Block. What made that acquisition unique? So the acquisition of Zero Block happened really quickly, and uh, basically I was waking up every morning and staring at this app and checking it 100 times a day. It was the first thing I looked at before I woke up and the last thing I looked at before going to sleep. And uh, it dawned on me, I was like, oh no, if I'm using this and relying on it, then lots of other people are too, and I absolutely love the design. So I approached Dan Held, the co-founder of it, and uh, I wanted him to help help us make blockchain uh, prettier, basically. And it became obvious that um, it would also make sense to bring his baby along. So we made an offer for it, and uh, Bitcoin deals happen more quickly than other ones, because people are motivated to acquire Bitcoins. And uh, so it was a no-brainer for Dan, and we found out that Dan was actually using blockchain APIs um, on the back end of his app anyway. So there's a real natural uh, kind of synchronization there between our tech stacks. And this was 100% block uh, Bitcoin acquisition, right? That's right. We only do our deals in Bitcoin. We're a 100% Bitcoin-based business. All the employees are paid in Bitcoin in our services as well. And you guys have no bank, right? No bank account. <laughs> And you guys also launched a merchant app. What is this about? How is it used? So we just recently launched a merchant app back in February, and we debuted it in Paris. And um, it has already been downloaded by thousands of small companies and merchants around the world. And it basically instantly allows a company to replace a point of sale system in 30 seconds. They put in a receiving address, and they can use any wallet service they want. They could even use an exchange and sell those bitcoins if they chose to. We find that a lot of people, especially ones that use our merchant app, are keeping their bitcoins. They want to respend them or save them and kind of keep it all in the bitcoin economy. Great. Thank you, Nick.